Hello. In this lecture, we'll go over deleting options in edit mode. Let's press Shift A and add cube object. Press Tab key to go to edit mode. Right click and subdivide the cube three times. Let's select this vertex and press X key to open deleting options menu. You can also press delete key to open this menu. Then, press deleting vertices option. As you can see, that's going to delete the vertex and any edges and faces that is part of this vertex. Let's switch to edge selection mode and select this edge. Press X key and then press deleting edges option. This time that's going to delete the edge and any faces that is part of this edge. Let's switch to face selection mode and select this face. Press X key and then press deleting face option. There we go. That's going to delete faces you select. Let's press A and select all vertices of the cube. Press X key and select only edges and faces deleting option. As you can see, that's going to delete all faces and edges except vertices. If we select only faces deleting option, it will delete only selected faces except vertices and edges. Now, let's go over dissolving options now. Select this vertex and press dissolve vertices option. As you can see, that's going to delete only the vertex we selected. It won't delete any edges and faces that is part of this vertex. Let's switch to edge selection mode and select this edge. Then, press dissolve edges option. In the same way, that's going to delete only this edge. Now, switch to face selection mode and select these two adjacent faces. Then, press dissolve face option. There we go. That's going to make together two or more adjacent faces into one face. Applying dissolve can causes shading problems in the sharp angles. Let's select these two adjacent faces and apply dissolving. As you can see, it causes a shading problem there. Press Ctrl Z and undo back. To prevent this issue, we should select limited dissolve option. Let's select these two faces again and make limited dissolving. As you can see, it will take selected faces out of the mesh, but it will take angle between them account also. In the limited dissolve operator panel, we have angle option and it is set to 5 degrees. It means any edges over 5 degrees will not be dissolved. That's why this edge remained not dissolved. Because we have 90 degrees angle here. Now, let's go over collapsing options. Let's select these two vertices and press X key. Select collapse edges and faces option here. As you can see, two vertices have collapsed into one vertex. You can select those four vertices and try to collapse. 
there we go. Four vertices have collapsed into one vertex. The last option is edge loops. We can delete any edge loops by merging the faces on each side. Let's hold Alt and click on the edge to select the edge loop. Then, press X key and select the edge loop option. There we go. We don't need even need a full either. Let's select these edges and press X key and delete the edge loop. There we go. But, it creates these triangles at the end. If we disable face split option here, we can get rid of these triangles. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.